popularity of its Small World Holiday and the Country Bear Christmas special in the 90s, Disneyland was looking to add more holiday overlays to the park. While trying to decide which ride would be best suited for a special Christmas version, for whatever reason, the idea of getting to see how the 999 ghosts in the Haunted Mansion celebrate the season really intrigued the Imagineers. An early idea for a Haunted Mansion holiday that got pretty far in the pre-development was an overlay based on a Christmas carol. It's both one of the most famous ghost stories of all times and one of the most famous Christmas stories of all time, so it seemed like a perfect fit. With the story of A Christmas Carol, it's pretty iconically set in Victorian London. Imagineers didn't feel it would be right to take Scrooge, Marley, and the rest of the gang and put them in 19th century New Orleans setting that Disneyland's Haunted Mansion exists in. Development then turned to thinking about what Disney characters would spend their Christmas vacation in the Haunted Mansion. Luckily, there was the perfect candidate from a 1993 film that was quickly becoming a cult classic and only growing in popularity as the years went by. The Nightmare Before Christmas the story of the overlaid ride is simple, and much like the regular Haunted Mansion, details might change depending on who you ask. After the events of the movie, Jack realizes and accepts that he should leave Christmas to Sandy Claus. But then he learns of a mansion full of spooks and specters that might be better served by Halloween Town's unique and terrifying take on the season, rather than Sandy Claus's classic Christmas. So Jack, Sally, Zero, and the whole Halloween Town gang loads up the coffin sleigh to spread a little Christmas cheer to the happy haunts that call the mansion home. The Haunted Mansion holiday first opened in 2001 and has been around every year since, with the obvious exception of 2020. And they are constantly finding new ways to make each year of this overlay better than the last. In 2003, they added Oogie Boogie to the finale. In 2013, they added some animated projections. In 2016, they added Sally staring longingly at her beloved Pumpkin King. And every single year, they bake a brand new giant gingerbread house for the ballroom. It's clear that this experience is a real labor of love for the Imagineers who walk on it. And for the most part, fans adore it too. But it can be a bit controversial. It takes almost a month to set up and almost another month to tear it down. And since they have it open for both Halloween and Christmas, that's nearly four months out of the year the Haunted Mansion holiday is open. Add that all up and it means that the Haunted Mansion, one of the most iconic Disney rides of all time, is closed in Disneyland for almost half of the year every single year. Though the Nightmare Before Christmas version is charming enough that wins most people over, there's always a bit of frustration over just how much time the original is closed. It was a long time ago, longer now than it seems, that Disney was planning to add a version of the Haunted Mansion Holiday to Walt Disney World. So while Disneyland is usually seen as more of a locals park where the average guest comes a couple times a year, Disney World is generally viewed as more of a once in a lifetime experience for its average guest. So the issues with closing a classic ride for so much of the year would be amplified if it was on the East Coast. Props built for the Florida version while they were planning it didn't go to waste though. Since Tokyo Disneyland's version of the Haunted Mansion is almost identical to Florida's, everything was shipped overseas to give Japan a Christmas celebration filled to the brim with ghoulish delight.